we really wanted the primary and only light to be coming from the memorial units themselves. This time of year, Julie Beckman always hangs in her office photos of the 9-11 Pentagon Memorial, which she and her husband Keith Caseman designed. We intended to try and create a place that is experienced differently every time you come. So there's no prescribed journey through the park. Now she is director of student services at UT's College of Architecture and Design, but she and Caseman were close to ground zero 14 years ago. We lived through what happened in New York on, on September 11th. We were living in New York. I witnessed the um, second plane hitting the building. So we experienced immense grief and sadness for months. Channeling their sorrow, the couple submitted an entry into an international call for 9-11 Pentagon Memorial designs. Among hundreds of entries, theirs was chosen. The memorial sits on the grounds of the Pentagon. 184 stainless steel benches bear the names of the 184 victims who perished here. We organized them by age. Um, we spread all 184 memorial units across the entire site to kind of express the magnitude of the event. The youngest was Dana Falkenberg, who, at just three years old, was only slightly older than Beckman's own child is now. Yeah, I do think about the fact that that will be Oscar's age soon and that, you know, you can't imagine um, something like this happening to such a small child, let alone five young children. Um, you know, that were taken from us there that day. The Pentagon Memorial was dedicated in 2008. Since then, it's estimated more than 200,000 people visit it per year. It's open at all hours, all year round. A memorial designed for all seasons, as America remembers to never forget.